Yo, what is up, internets? My name is Eggy Crunchy Bob, and I am the newest commentator for OP. Very excited to be here. Not sure why they recruited me. I just I was just sitting there playing Xbox one day, and Insomniac just joins my Xbox Live party. I was like, "What, Insomniac? What are you doing here?" And he's like, "I want you to commentate for us." I was like, "I was like, no way, get the hell out of here." And he's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Well, what if I don't want to?" And I was like, "Get the hell out of my party." And he's like, whoa, 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 "Wait, wait, hang on, I got candy." I was like, oh, "You got candy?" I was like, "No way, where is it?" He's like, "It's in my van. Let's go get it." I was like, "Yay!" And we jump in his van, and then you know, next thing I know, I wake up in his basement, and Weagle's standing there with the big dildo, and he's like, "You're about ready to have some fun." I was like, "Hell yeah, let's play some COD." And he's like, "He's like, not that kind of fun." And I was like, "Oh no!" And so that's the story of how OP started. I don't know if you guys knew this, but that's that's uh, that's the origin story of OP, uh, exclusive with Aggie Crunchy Bug. God, you guys are learning so much stuff right now. Uh, so today's commentary or uh, gameplay, sorry, is by OP Black Sharp. He gets a uh, double DNA bomb on the map uh, Green Band, and he goes 74 and one. And the only death that he gets is him actually jumping off the map. Which not sure why he would do it. I mean, he was going flawless, so I guess he was feeling suicidal. Which I'd like to take a moment here and do a little PSA for you guys. Is uh, if you're ever feeling suicidal in COD, just come talk to someone. Come talk to me. Um, send a message to Insomulus or Regal or anyone in the OP at clan and we will get you sorted out and just feel free to send us messages all over Xbox. It doesn't matter. It's, you know, we love, we love that. And, uh, you know, we have counseling services to stop people from quick scoping, from camping, noob tubers and modern for two. That department isn't going too well, but we're working on it. And, uh, you know, just come talk to us. We care. The OP, the clan that cares, you know, it's, it's good stuff. So... Today, I'd like my commentary to, uh, well, I, I'm gonna make my commentary whatever the heck I want, and you guys are gonna deal with it, and you guys are gonna laugh, you guys are gonna thumbs it up, favorite it, or like it, or whatever you crazy kids on the internet are, you know, doing to videos these days. Um, be sure to share it on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, Tumblr, MySpace. Share it on eBay if you can somehow, just, you know, get it out there and show it to the world, because this is, a, this is gonna be a good video. So... What I'd like to talk about today is my 21st birthday party. Uh, I'm 23, and uh, two years ago, uh, see how I did that math in my head? Wow, I'm like a mathematician. Uh, two years ago, I went to Las Vegas to celebrate my 21st birthday with uh, my friend, his brother, and myself. And we get there, and apparently, like, uh, they were having, like, the National Rodeo Championship down there, and so it was just redneckapalooza. It was just nothing, which... It was kind of good because there was nothing but hot ass cowgirls with their Daisy Dukes on, you know, the short denim skirts and, you know, low cut tops. And, oh, this is just so good. You know, and you got the cowboys in their tight denim jeans. And, <laughs> whoa, whoa, what happened there? That was that was kind of weird. Just forget about that. So, anyways, uh, so yeah, it was just right next to Palooza. And so one night, uh, we we're just having fun, we we're gambling. You know, we're drinking, we're going out to see the shows. We went to see Celine Dion. Uh, Siegfried and Roy did a reunion tour, and it was really awkward because he was just kind of sitting on the stage all debilitated, and it was, oh, it was really creepy. Um, you know, just typical Vegas stuff. We got a bunch of hookers in our hotel room, and, you know, we had fun with them, and then eventually they overdosed, and we had to bury them out in the desert because we didn't want the cops getting involved. So, you know, pretty standard stuff, you know, really. I mean, we've, we've all been there. We we met up with Zach Alphanakis, and they were, they were filming The Hangover Part 20, and we're like, what? Get out of here. You guys are doing another one? They're like, yeah, we need more money. We're, we're kind of running out of ideas, and we're like, can we be in it? And they're like, yeah, sure, why not? So, you know, it was good times. And so, anyways, we go out to this club, and they pretty much, like, kind of retrofitted it to, uh, be this, like, you know, country western thing, which, you know, whatever. And I'm not a big fan of country western music at all, but, you know, whatever. When you're drunk, you don't really care. And so, I'm not much of a drinker, but they're, my friends were just kind of pouring beers down my throat and tequila shots, and I was just like, wee, You know, free beer! And so, halfway through the night... The DJ of the club is like, you know, how's everyone doing out there? And everyone's like, woo! And he's like, all right, I want all the birthday boys to get out on the dance floor and uh, come down and celebrate your birthday with us, Las Vegas style. You know, get her done. You know, six separate tyrannists, You know, southern, other southern, you know, stereotypes. And so, uh, <laughs> uh, I get down there and they set up these uh, 
chairs on the dance floor and it was just like me and three other guys and I look across the way and there's a bunch of like all the girls in the clubs are standing uh, all the bitches in the club are dropping it like it's hot across the dance floor and uh, they have balloons in their hand I'm like whoa what's going on here and the whole thing is they start the music and the girls come over with the balloons place it on your lap start grinding until they pop the balloon and then they just kind of repeat the process which okay cool that's you know fun fun times for everyone but like really this is Las Vegas this is the best we can do like you know we're not like we're not gonna be doing shots or Jaeger bombs like this is like this is like something you do in high school like in a high school party after you play like spin the ball or some crap like that like really all right well whatever so um, I'm sitting there music starts the girls start coming towards us and uh, all the other three cowboys are starting to get lap dances and I was like all right let's yeah, let's do this, and nothing, not a single girl came to me, because, like, I wasn't, like, a cowboy, so, like, I was just like, really, are you, are you freaking getting me, so I'm just sitting there, embarrassed, because, like, no one's coming towards me, finally, I, I just take out my phone, and I start texting, and then I look up, and I see a woman come towards me, and I do a double take, and it's, a not a lady, but it's a whole lot of woman, and by a whole lot of woman, I mean, she was a big, fat, stinky, ew, gross, why are you in closes that are two sizes too small for you type women and she's come strutting towards me she places the balloon on my lap she gets on top of me and she goes boy I'm gonna make you a man today and I go oh please don't I want to stay a little boy I'm Peter Pan uh. and she starts grinding on me and I could physically feel myself turning gay it was creepy and disgusting I'm like oh god so finally after like 10 seconds of this I can't take it anymore and I just I reach up and I pop the balloon myself I'm like please get off me and she's like, oh, that was rude. I was like, all right, fine, I'll make it up to you. Give me your number. And we hooked up later in my hotel room. I'm just kidding, guys. Just kidding. We did it in her in her hotel room. Come on, I have standards. So, anyways, that was my 21st birthday party. That's primarily the reason I don't drink anymore. Um, so, I guess the moral of the story is don't drink. I, I don't know. I'm not a role model. Don't listen to me. I just don't do what I... Don't make the same mistakes I did. Um, I hope you guys liked the video, um, hopefully, if you guys did, leave a comment down in the comment section, where the hell else would you leave one, um, I do reply to every single comment that I get, follow me on Twitter, and I do reply to every single tweet that I get, I'm very interactive, so please come tell me what you guys thought of the video and my commentary, and of course, if you guys did like the video, uh, please rate and subscribe to OP and Black Sharp. And I will hopefully see you guys later. And I'm out. Uh, don't forget your bullet vaccinations. All right, drive safe. Mwah.